everyone, my name is Marcel and this video we will learn how to do web data scraping in Power Automate Desktop. So we will use uh, this website to learn web data scraping. And so uh, this website has uh, books uh, listed across different pages. And so we will develop automation on Power Automate Desktop that will extract the title and the price of each book until the third page. So uh, to start, let's open uh, Power Automate Desktop. So you have to create a new flow. And now, uh, first, our automation should open the browser on the web page. For that, let's search here for the action launch and will appear different actions for different browsers. So in my case, I will use the launch new Microsoft Edge that opens the Microsoft Edge browser. So here, launch mode, let's select the launch new instance to open, to open a new browser. And now here on initial URL, so let's copy here the URL of the website. It's books.toscrape.com. And let's paste it here. And now on Windows State, let's select here the option Maximize. And let's click on Save. So now let's test if it's working well. So let's close the browser and let's run our automation. So as we can see, our automation opens the browser. So now we have to indicate to our automation uh, to extract the title and the price of each book. So let's uh, clear here this text on actions. And now let's click here on the web automation. And now we can see here the option web data extraction that will show actions related to web data extraction. So let's click here. And here we can see the action extract data from web page. So this action allows us to extract data basically from a web page. So let's use this action. So let's drag it to our automation. And so now we have to bring our web browser in the window that we want to extract. So in the web page that we want to perform extraction to the foreground as it says here. So let's bring to foreground our web page and appears now here a live web helper that uh, uh, basically is to indicate uh, the data to extract here from the web page. So first to extract the title. So let's over here the title of the first book and now let's do right click and we'll appear here some options so let's over the option extract element value and so we can see here some options and the one that we will choose it's option title to extract the full title of this book so now uh, that we indicated the first book uh, the title of the first book we have to indicate a second title of another book to part to make desktop recognize a pattern and be able to extract the titles of all books. So let's over the title of the second book. Let's do right click. Let's select here the option title. And now, as we can see, Power to my Desktop is extracting the titles of all books. So now that we got the titles, let's indicate the price. So let's over the price of the first book and let's do a right click. Let's over the option extract element value. And now here at this time, let's select the option text. And now uh, part of my desktop, because I already recognize the pattern, it's able to extract the titles and the price of all books. And now to extract title and price of books on another pages, we have to find an element that we can set as a pager. So if we go here, we can see that we have the button next. And if we click here, we go always to the next page. So let's over this button and let's do right click. And we can see here the option set element as a pager. So if we set this um, button as a pager, my Desktop will click on this button when doesn't exist more books to extract on certain page. 
So let's set this element as a pager. And now let's click on finish. So now that we indicated the data to extract from each book, we have here some parameters to define. So here we can define if you want just to extract data from the first page or all pages. So in our case, we'll be to extract until the third page. So let's choose this option, only the first. And here we can now, uh, on this parameter, select the max web page to process. So let's type in here three. And now store that the mode, let's select the option Excel spreadsheet. And now let's click on save. So now let's test if our automation is opening so the browser and extract the data of fish book until the third page and export the data to Excel file. So uh, let's close the browser and let's run our automation. So as we can see, our automation is going to the next page. So it's now on the third page and so the automation already executed, so finished its execution. And now we can see here an Excel file and if you open, we can see the title and the price of each book that was extracted until the third page. So we can check, uh, so this title should be the title of the last book on the third page. So let's check here. So, oops. So we can see here uh, the book, the last book that has the same title as we can see here on the Excel file on the last row. So our automation, it's working well. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA related videos. Bye bye.